This is a, <laughs> a, a, a really good way to get organized so when you get published out on the web, everything will be organized. This is a view of Internet Explorer. And what I recommend that you do is you create a folder on your flash drive or your hard drive and call it public underscore HTML, all lowercase. Now, this is going to match a folder out on the web server. There, and the reason we, we use this naming convention is because that's what they're doing out on the server. I don't have any control over that. So we're going to make this folder look identical to what's out on the server. And then inside of this folder, this is our main folder, and this would be considered the root. And inside of it, you're going to set up folder to hold all your capstone files. And inside of that, you're going to have a graphic folder. Now, inside of your root, you're also going to have a graphic folder. Everybody see that this graphic goes with the root. And this graphic is, in, is a subfolder of capstone. Everybody see the relationship? Now, next to the capstone folder, you're going to have another folder called Project Photo Edit Color. And you can put your photo edit, your poster, and, and that project in here, as well as the graphics in here. Now, if you did Photo Edit Color and had all of your graphics right next to your HTML code, then you're going to have to rewrite that code and move those into a graphic folder. And then if you want even another project, you could do another folder, and this would be your project HTML list. And it would have its own graphic folder. Now, let's take a look at the root. So here's the root over here on the right-hand side. And in the root, you're going to have your capstone, and your two projects and your graphic. Now, you don't have to have these projects out there. I, these are just showing you how you separate your projects from your capstone. But do you see how the root also contains an index.html? This is going to be your home page. And this is going to come up in a couple weeks, but this is where you're going to put your web dev capstone uh, well, this is a downloadable file that you're going to have because it has, remember, it has an odd ending, so it's going, to, it's going to say, do you want to save this file? Notice on Windows Explorer that this is a series of folders that doesn't show the files. On the right side, it repeats the folders so you can see what the subfolders are for this one. So these are all subfolders of public underscore HTML. As over on the right side, you also see the individual files that are inside of the root. So what I want to emphasize is that each project, including your capstone, is in its own folder. These are all self-contained. And as you look over in the folder structure, you'll see that each one contains a graphic folder to hold all the separate graphic files. As we do web pages, you'll find out that there's a lot, a lot of graphic files. So you want to put them in their own folder to kind of keep them organized. Also, when you go out on your server space, we're not giving you 20 gig of server space. You get 500 kilobytes, and that's it. So you're going to have to be very judicious on how much, how many files you put out here. Um, if you're in web programming and you're going to do take more classes in the web field, then you're going to use this for a lot of other classes. And as, as students progress in the more advanced classes, then what they do is they delete some of these beginning projects to make space. But even though uh, file space is really cheap out in the web now, uh, you really need to watch if without cluttering up your, your uh, web server. You really got to keep, keep it trim and neat. You got to make every file count that's out in the server because you end up paying for that space or your client ends up paying for that space. Again, this is what I would set up on, on your flash drive to hold your files that are going to go out on the server. 
and then out on the web server, you're going to have this exact copy is going to be copied out of the web server. So every change that you make on the web server, you're going to make it here first, and then you're literally going to make a copy of it out on the web server. You're not going to be fiddling around on the web server changing files and folders and all that. You want to do that on your flash drive and then copy it out to the server. Is everybody clear on that? This has been a major stumbling block in the course. And so this last semester, I put together this graphic to kind of give everybody a better picture of how to get organized. If you're not organized, your, your life is going to become miserable. I can't tell you how miserable it will become. Um, just ask other people that have uh, finished this course. And they'll tell you, get organized. That'll be their message to you. Um, you also may want to print this out. This is a form called Site Organizer. And you're going to start using a lot of user ID passwords, even more than you have now. And you need to keep that information organized. Also, later on in the semester, you're going to be sending more stuff out to the server, as well as in future classes. And you're going to need to refer back to this information. Now, I do a form similar to this for all my clients, and I give it to them. I say, put this in a safe spot, you know, where nobody else will see it, and uh, keep, keep this for your reference. So have a copy of that because you're going to, have, you're going to be using it to uh, remember how to get out to all these places out on your web server. So that's coming up next week.